Sure.com here in The Hague, the home of UFC 1 participant Gerard Gardot. You had one more fight, MMA fight after, the Yuki Nakai fight. Yes. In Japan. And that's a fight a lot of people look back on now and say, yeah. you know, that's where you get your reputation from. Yeah. What happened in that fight in your eyes? Uh, I, I, I damaged him, him too much. And I said to the ref, I told the ref when we're fighting, from, stop the fight otherwise. Because he, he go with the G2 thing only standing here. He said, hey, we fight or we don't fight, but don't sit here for, for 45 minutes. And I said to the referee, you have to stop the fight, otherwise I do it. And I choked, put out his eye. It's not, it was not in the reglement. He's blind, okay. It's the fault of the referee. Because I I'd asked the referees, let him stop. Because he stamped ahead, and it, but he has so good skills to, to in Japan. He has to, to sell his skills like a, a real Japanese, like in the, on the uh, kamikaze thing. I think the kamikaze blood come up, and he don't give up. And I said, okay, when you don't give up, I do something, but you don't like it, it doesn't matter to me. I ask, I ask it in my fight, hey, referee, let me stop. Let him fight or don't come here, fight. But he, okay. And they put the eye out. After that fight, that was that was it for you for MMA anyway. No. At least at least through sanctioned MMA that we see. Uh, you know what are some of the other fights you had in Japan? I fight every every month. At that time, and then I go to pro wrestling to get a little, a little bit older and a little bit things because I'm, I'm next month 57. That's another thing we talked about. Yeah, uh, they have you listed as 53 years old. In Japan, they don't like uh, on paper old people, and they think you're old when you're 40. And they say, "Okay, I'm I'm not 40. I'm uh, 37." <laughs> and then they, they buy it, and they put it down there. Okay. This so anything I mean. to fight. You do anything to get those fights too. Yes, because I like fighting. I want uh, when I was young. And in my youth, in my youth, I was on the uh, six years school and so nothing more. And they said, ah, you will, later you are nothing. I said, oh, watch out. I'll be the best of the world. And I work on it, not in, in the grammatica, not in books, but something I'll be the best. Like a mechanic or something, I said, no, I want to be the best in, 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 in sports. That's the reason I fight everywhere to touch and feel what they mean. Because everybody is, is the strongest, everybody is the best. When you talk to a boxer, you say, no, the boxing is the best. And you say, karate is the best, and this is the best. Nothing is the best. I know it from my experience. And how you sell that to, you, to the new generation and new, and new people. Yeah, but my teacher never do boxing. How you can talk about boxing if you never do it? That's the reason I said, ah, I want to be the best. And I'm the best now. You fell in love with it at what age? What Fighting mean? when you 16. 16? Yeah, they're always soccer. But the mentality of the soccer players are uh, uh, is uh, we have an, an, uh, a parade in, in Rotterdam. The soccer, soccer. Uh, I don't like it. You played professional soccer? Yeah, in our city. And How I said, long? Uh, for, for one year, for six, 16, and I said, ah, it's too much injuries because now I know somebody can kick me. But in the time I was goalkeeper. And then when they take the ball, somebody kick it and, and you break your hand. And they say, yeah, I don't like it. The mentality, I don't like. But I like to watch to, to good, good football players who now is it, like a Messi or a Cruyff or from Boston. Uh, it's, it's, a, it's a pleasure not to look for it. But uh, the Italian, uh, no. But I play it and too much injury. And in fighting is less injury because you know what you have to do and what you can do. Which combat sport stands out the most to you? You've done them all, you mix them all together. Nothing, there's nothing more and better and number one is Kyokushin Karate. Still? Still. Is and it the I know toughest, I, uh, do you think? Yes. Why is it the toughest? Because the easiest thing we, uh, the sports we take out, the, the, the most easiest thing is hitting somebody on the face. Every bullshit idiot on the street attack 99% to your face. And we put it, put it out. 
And now you have to think what you do to knock him out on the, on the legs. Or you can kick to the face, it's no problem. It's full contact to the face, it's no problem. He's a giri with the knee or kick to the head, it's no problem. But don't touch with the hands. That part we take it out. Not me, but the style. And then you have to, to have a lot of knowledge to win that game. And there's always competition in the tournament. There's always 40 fighters, at least. In Japan, 360 fighters, or one day. And now they complain, oh, we have to fight three rounds or five rounds. Fuck you. We have to fight eight games on one day, and you have to win, otherwise out. Just my goal is go to the end with Kyokushin. But we miss something, of course. We are not a not, uh, holy saint. We miss punching to the face. We miss crown things, yes. But we can do the next day in Jiu Jitsu or wrestling or boxing. And then you can com make it complete. But my, I think, of our experience, the, the, the toughest is Kyokushin. We, as Kyokushin people, we go to K1. Because I did the first K1. Mm -hmm. I did the first K1 also. Not Schmidt and not, uh, no, no, me. As Kyokushin guy, we go there. Kyokushin guy, we go to Thai boxing. Kyokushin guy, we go to the ultimate. Kyokushin guy, go there. But nobody or less people don't entrance to the Kyokushin. Because they know they're motherfuckers. Real motherfuckers. <laughs>